thriving emergencies, in any emergency situation is very important to think clearly and don't panic. You often have only a short time to react. Read this section to learn what to do when an emergency occurs. It could save your life. Skidding. You should handle a skid the same for front and rear wheel drive vehicles. Slowly remove your foot from the gas pedal and shift into neutral. Don't hit the brakes. You will make the skid worse. Turn your steering wheel in the direction of the skid. That sounds like a question I'd ask. Turn it into the skid. Turn into the skid. In the direction of the skid. What's a skid? It's like when your car starts sliding. Like when you you know, like when you're riding your bike and you slide yeah. on the brakes and it goes yeah. in the yeah. wheels lock up, that's a skid. So so what you so skid? So so, lock so all up. you have to do is turn your steering wheel in the direction of the skid. Turn, just, turn just your steel, steering wheel into the direction of the skid. In the direction of the skid. That's all you gotta remember. If your rear tires are skidding to the left, turn your steering wheel to the left. If they're sliding to the right, turn to the right. So it's just all you got to remember is turn into the skid. You may need to steer left or right a few times until you get your car completely under control. Running off the pavement. If you drive off the pavement and onto the shoulder of the road, hold the steering wheel tightly and slowly remove your foot from the gas pedal. Gently apply the, apply the brakes to reduce your speed. Check for traffic behind you and steer gently back onto the road. Okay. Flat tire or blowout or wheel loss. If you get a flat tire or your tire blows out or you lose a wheel, grip the steering wheel tightly and slowly remove your foot from the gas pedal. Gently apply the brakes. If you begin to skid, turn the steering wheel in the direction of the skid. So that's you just got to remember that phrase. In the direction of the skid. Gently straighten the car. Don't use the brakes until you have the vehicle under control. Pull your vehicle off the road as soon as it is safe. Brake failure. If your vehicle has anti-lock brakes and the brakes fail to respond when you are fully pressing the brake pedal, you should do the following. Downshift to a lower gear and work your way down to the lowest gear if necessary. Apply the parking brake gently. Hold the brake release in case your vehicle starts to skid. If you cannot slow your vehicle, sound your horn and flash your lights to warn drivers or pedestrians around you. If your vehicle does not have anti-lock brakes, you should pump the brake pedal several times rapidly to build up brake fluid pressure. Do not pump anti-lock brakes. If this does not work, you should then follow the steps listed above. You can determine what type of brakes you have by checking the indicator on your dashboard or checking your vehicle's user manual. Pretty much all, almost any new car is going to have anti-lock brakes. And what? almost any car nowadays has anti-lock brakes. So so if the car, what are you saying the car has to, like, like... So the thing is, is what what the answer is, is downshift. Yeah. You know, like when I'm in a car and I go, yeah. you see downshift, and then... Uh, And then apply the parking brake. You know what the emergency brake? Yeah, I know the emergency brake. Yeah, so that's what you do. Stuck gas pedal. If your gas pedal sticks, put your car in neutral and press the brake pedal to slow down. Try to free the gas pedal with your foot. If the gas pedal does not release, reapply the brakes. Keep your eyes on the road. When it is safe, pull your vehicle to the side of the road and bring it to a stop. Vehicle approaching head-on. If a vehicle is driving towards you head-on in your lane, slow down and pull to the right. Sound your horn to alert the other driver. Headlight failure. If your headlights suddenly go out, turn on your parking lights, emergency flashers, or turn signal. Try, try the headlight switch a few times. Pull off the road as quickly as possible and leave your emergency flashers on. Oof. Stalling on railroad tracks. <laughs> now let's read what this says. If your vehicle stalls on railroad tracks and a train is coming, get everyone out of the vehicle and move as far from the tracks as you can. Try to signal the train any way you can, safely can. To avoid being hit by wreckage, run 
from your vehicle in the direction the train is coming from. That makes sense, actually. Because if you run away from the train, the train could hit the car and it fly at you. So you run toward the train. Not at the train, but along the tracks up at the train. If, you're, if your vehicle stalls on railroad tracks and you don't know if a train is coming, roll down your window or open your door and listen for a train. Try to start your engine. If your vehicle won't start, shift into neutral and try to push the vehicle off the tracks. If you cannot move your vehicle from the tracks, call the police immediately. Breakdowns. Move your vehicle to the side of the road. Never park on a hill or a curve where others cannot see you. If you cannot get your vehicle off the pavement, get all passengers out of the vehicle and off the road. On a highway with a breakdown lane or shoulder, move your vehicle as far from the travel lane as you can. Do not stand near the travel lane or the breakdown lane. Turn on your vehicle emergency warning lights, flashers. At, at night, also turn on your vehicle's interior lights. Tie a white cloth to your antenna or door handle. Use a red cloth when it's snowing. Raise your vehicle hood. If you have flares or reflective signs, place them 200 feet in front or behind your vehicle to warn other drivers. If your car catches fire. If you see smoke coming from your hood of your car, pull off the road, turn off the ignition and move away from the vehicle. Call the fire department. Do not try to fight the fire unless you have an extinguisher. Vehicle drives into water. If your car drives into water, fasten your safety belt and escape oh unfasten your safety belt and escape through a window if you have power windows open them quickly before the water causes them to stop working do not open a door this would cause water to rush into into your vehicle and could flip over if your vehicle sinks before you can get out climb into the rear seat an air pocket may form there when the vehicle settles take a deep breath and escape through a window driving through tunnels. Public safety is a priority at MassDOT. Please follow these important safety tips when traveling through our tunnels. If you are in an accident or a disabled vehicle in a tunnel, tunnels are always monitored by higher operations center. State police and MassDOT personnel are located throughout the tunnel system to respond to incidents as soon as possible. Pull to the side of the road if you can. Activate your hazard flashing lights. Call 911. Stay in your vehicle if it is safe to do so. Wait for emergency personnel for help. When entering a tunnel, stay alert. Turn on your headlights. Obey all signs and signals. Listen to radio or traffic updates. Do not enter if you notice smoke near the entrance or if your car is smoking or burning. <laughs> Maintain a safe driving distance. Hazardous materials are prohibited, including propane. In heavy traffic, Listen for radio updates. Keep a safe distance from other vehicles even if traffic is moving slowly. Note the location of emergency exits. Follow the instructions of mass duty officials, state police, and messaging signs. If there's a fire, stop, turn off the engine, and exit your vehicle. To help emergency personnel, leave your keys in the vehicle. For your safety, leave your stuff in the vehicle. Call 911. Follow the instructions of the fire department, state police, and mass DOT officials. Exit at the nearest tunnel entrance unless directed otherwise. Help others if you can. Please remember, fire and smoke can kill. Save your life, not your car. So let's stop right there at traffic accidents.